that good? Hey guys, what's up? It's Melanie. How are you? I don't know how to get everything in the frame here. This weird one. All right. I am, let's see if I go down. I don't know. It's a tricky camera angle here. I don't know how good I am at camera angles. Anyways, how's it going? All right, guys. So who's here? I can't see you. I see. That's good. That's not good. Maybe here. Hey, what's up? I am just sweating out here. Um, redoing my patio. So I don't know. Some of you might know that before I had done my patio, um, out here, like on a whim, um, probably three and a half years ago, something like that. I did not think it through. I was just bored and I was talking to my friend on the phone and I was like, Hey Lisa, I was like, you know what? I think I'm going to stencil my patio. And so I just started like with one square. I just painted one square really fast. I didn't even, I, I did sweep it, but I didn't like even wash it. <laughs> I just started. And then I was like, Hey, that looks cool. So the next thing you know, I was doing my entire patio with, um, DIY paint and Wiesel regular, um, chalk paint. And I didn't prime it. I didn't, I didn't anything. I just did it. And then I ended up doing the whole thing. And, um, I liked it and I liked it a lot. And I mean, it held up pretty darn well. I put, <laughs> hi Rhonda. I put, um, what did I put? I put bare concrete, um, top coat over it and it held it really well, but it was looking a little dull and I decided I wanted to redo it, do it again. So here I am. Now I'm using this stencil, which is a little bit busy, but it's kind of cool. And um, I just thought I would show you guys real quick. So I've done this line and now I'm here and I will be here for a while, but you know what? All my furniture, look, my couch, my coffee table, my chair, my um, my other little, little uh, what is that, a bistro set, everything's out there. So if it rains, like all my stuff's gonna get destroyed. So I kind of am on a time crunch here. <laughs> Gotta get it done. And um, I am filming a full video too, if you guys are interested in that. So let's get going. Okay, so in general Melanie style, I um, didn't <laughs> buy any any new stencil brushes or anything like that i did buy the stencil and i've got the paint so this is veronica vaughn um that's the red that i'm using it's a really as you can see like a really bright deep 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 red i went with red again my other base was red so i figured it'd be smart um aims to use red again well this time i'm going to prime it so i really don't even have it's red okay and then i am using higgins lake and what is this poseidon and they're both in the enamel paints um i have this old and i'm talking old royal design studio um stencil brush that i used when i originally did this back when i originally did it, it as you can see this guy it does not hold up like a klingon <laughs> that's for sure because i tend to abuse my brushes I'm using that one, and then I'm using this Wise Out um, wax brush, um, and it works. It works too, but it is a bit big, so I wish I did have something smaller, but I don't. So we're just, we're just gonna do it and uh, wish for the best. So, oh my gosh! And now the wind is picking up. So have you guys stenciled before? Tell me. Tell me. Tell me. I cannot say I'm an expert stencil person. Um, this requires a lot of patience, and patience is something that I don't have a lot of, as I'm certain that you know. And just by watching my videos, like, I'm not the most patient person. Hi. Hey there, Veronica. All right, but let's get going. So stenciling, you want to get some paint, not too, too much, but then you want to definitely offload it. Now this is enamel paint. Um, it's super durable and it does not require a top coat. So 
that's awesome. Um, and that that's good, but it also dries pretty fast. And anyways, I don't know if I do that, which is a no, no, cause I really hard tendency of like learning the hard way over and over and over again. But we're gonna pounce. Pouncing beats the holy heck out of your brush. But for me, I seem to get a lot crisper lines. Um, again, I don't really have a lot of patience, so stenciling for me is definitely, it's absolutely not my favorite. Why do I keep choosing to do such big, see that's way too much paint that I just did. Because I'm not redoing it. Know what I mean? All right, so I figure we'll just do this tile. I'm not sure how long each tile takes me. Um, I did record myself doing a full tile though, so I will know uh, at some point when I go back to edit the uh, full video. But anyway, so you just pounce, pounce, pounce. So this one, I'm just repeating patterns, which I have to say, I'm already super bored with that. I wish. I wish I would have started it differently so I could just kind of blend and like keep using the same brush and get different shades, but I already got it going like that, so I probably should just keep it going like that. All right, so now we're gonna dip into Higgins Lake, which is a much lighter green, and we're gonna offload like a brush. Flip one of these, it's get a little get too much. Let's see. This one is, it's a very, very light green, but opposed to the red and the Poseidon, it almost looks white. And it's actually not white, but it kind of looks that way. I'll we'll just keep pouncing. It seems like I can all, whoa, almost get full coverage with the Poseidon on the first run with the Higgins. Oh my gosh. Blow away, guys. But with the um, Higgins Lake, I definitely have to do it twice. Which I would love to do it once. Also, I've noticed that I have to go back in with um, a real little tiny brush because I seem to overlap into the wrong color. And that, again, is probably due to my complete. Um, lack of patience but whatever so the the kind of cool thing about stuff like this is like this one is not for a customer uh, um it's for me so you know like if this was the customer's house i obviously would have bought the right brushes and um, doing it the right way but when it's for yourself you can kind of just Unless you're a perfectionist, which obviously I'm not, so I don't need to talk about that. Right? Right. And I wish I was going to hook you guys up on this device. It's a little tiny old. But I left it in the sun, and so now it's like super hot. Oh, maybe I can do it here in a second. That way I could um, look at the ground and pounce and actually talk to you guys too. You too over there. I finagled my brother-in-law into giving me this old phone. It was his son's and he got his son a new one and so I was like, hey, can I use that old phone? Unfortunately, I think it's like a 10 or something like that, so we don't have a lot of, um, uh, a lot of, you know, bells and whistles, but, but it is still usable. Probably like even younger in the volume all the way down. Okay, let's see if we can see comments. Guys. Oops. How do I see? How do I see comments? Oh my gosh. Oh, it's so not good with technology. So, do you guys see? Um, did you see that ugly duckling challenge? I was thinking about you, you're oh yeah. You know, I wanna do more, Lisa, I do. Um, 
I just don't have a lot of inventory right now. It feels weird, like, you know, you can't really do a live sell if you don't really have anything to sell <laughs> that's shippable, you know? Um, and I don't, unfortunately, I don't see having any in the near future, so, yeah. But thank you for thanking me. Thank you for remembering. I really do appreciate that. It means a lot to me that you guys care, you know? So let me tell you, so I've slowed down on the videos and that stuff. I've been working, um, some of you might know, I've been working part-time at a nursery. Um, so I've always worked. When Before I went to the business full-time, I, um, I was a dental hygienist. And so what I did was I painted, um, those of you who follow my Facebook you might remember, like I used to go live all the time. and. I would legit like come home at my lunch hour and and go live and I would come home from work and go live and um, I was really just able to do that a lot and that was back on Facebook um, and then I took off so when my mom died I was able to stop working at my office um, at the dental office and go full time with this. And that's when I was able to concentrate more on YouTube and building that and doing that. Well, recently, um, I picked up a part time job at a nursery, like a plant nursery. Um, we sell primarily trees, but some house plants too, and stuff like that. It's, um, it's a really good job. I like it. I really, really like it. I like the people that I work with, and I like that it gets me away from all of this and I don't have to think about, you know, my business or anything like that. It's very nice that way. Um, it's also extremely exhausting. <laughs> exhausting. We are out in the sun. I'm here in New Mexico. You know, we average high 90s, hundreds every day, um, pretty much during the summer, spring, and even into the fall a little bit. Um, and we are legit outside in that weather and that's why I'm so brown um, and by the time I get home from there I'm whooped and the idea of going oh you remember that one Lisa yeah the idea of going back into my garage where it's you know a hundred plus degrees because it's a garage that's the wind that is the wind um, it's just, it's even more exhausting. Like I can't, I just can't even fathom going and sitting in my garage and making more videos or even creating on those days. Cause it's just, it's just too flipping hot. Um, my garage faces the West. So we get, it gets all that afternoon sun. Um, and out here, you know, we're facing East. That's so nice and and cool. So I'm going back in with just a smaller brush to get these little corners that I got accidentally with the lighter color. They don't look so good when you pull it up and you've got some light on your dark. So anyways, guys, that's, that's my story. Um, and that is why I have, I just don't have the energy for it. <laughs> and, uh, you know, a lot of other stuff too, but but yeah, Lisa, I know you were asking and I, I don't want to, I don't like that you guys feel like I'm neglecting you. I, I'm, I don't need to be, um, I'm just trying to survive mostly, you know. So if we just touch up these corners a little bit where I overlapped and uh, get them. So I wonder if I can see comments yet on here. Matter, huh? um, oh, what did I name her? So I think I'm actually going to call her is the name. I think they noticed stay. No, I'm just kidding. Stay away from me while I'm doing this. When I was painting the whole thing red, they definitely were getting on my nerves because I'm like, why do you have to just, you know, follow? They're like, is this wet mom? Is this part wet? <laughs> it, it, but, but, um, yeah, I think they're 
content to be over there right now. Polly was trying to lay on me earlier. Have you guys met? I don't know. I don't talk about my dogs too, too much, so I don't know if you've met them. Um, the white one is Roxy, and when she passed, of course, I took her to be my girl. I mean, definitely uh, weren't going to let her go with someone else, although she is such a um, clever and, like, loving dog. There was numerous people that were trying to snatch her. Okay, so has anybody been timing me? I guess we could see how long it takes to pencil one thing. One square. Turtles are good. I have two different enclosures now. I have nine turtles total, but um, seven of them are in one enclosure. Some kind of eye infection, and I don't know if it's contagious or not. So. Um, they don't have it now, but they did, and I just kind of got scared, so I put them in a separate one. 15 minutes. Thank you. You're awesome. Okay. So I'm just about done with this one, I think, hopefully. And all right, so that's good. I guess when I'm done, I can um, calculate how much time the stenciling portion of this at least took me. Not course the priming and painting part of it because I definitely did not time it. All right guys let's see how good I did. Um, I definitely do miss you so nice to hang with you. I know Veronica. Okay oh so yep I messed up a little bit and that's shocking right? Absolutely shocking. All right let's check it out. Oh can you guys see? Okay, so the middle square here, this is the absolute, absolute center. Da, 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 I know. Absolute center right here. I did that one first and I did it the wrong way. Hi, Kim. I did it like, well, you can see I did it straight instead of diagonal. And um, so I was like, okay, I've got to keep it all straight. Or, hi, baby. Or I could just make that a center tile and then go the way that I wanted to go. So that's what I chose to do. It's going to look weird. I don't know. Maybe. Do I care too much? Nope. No, nope, I don't. So, yeah. So that's what we got now. Man, we got a ways to go, guys. So, poor Roxy. She's getting so old. She looks dead. Hustling on. I just wanted to pop on and um, say hi and say that I appreciate you guys. And hopefully all my stuff doesn't blow away. And, um, but I got a lot of work to do. I definitely do. So let's see. Looks great. Hi, Miss Maggie. Curious Celtic Creations. I love that name. You're awesome. Okay, let's see if I missed. Yeah, so I think I am going to call her Petit. And hi, Kathy. I don't know if I said hi to you or not. Hi. You're getting ready to do that here? Oh, are you? Can't wait to see. I hope you share, Maggie. It dries so fast. I'm not worried about it because it's already. But I definitely have some. Um, I really need to be more patient. I'm gonna try harder on the next one. I swear. Maybe I'll maybe I'll film the next one when I'm trying really hard. A little bit of bleed through. Why do I do this? I don't, I don't even like stenciling. Ah, using the Cubano stamp. You know what? That's a good idea. I should probably have just done that. I'd already be done. <laughs> but I didn't. Okay. You guys are awesome. And I'm going to, I need to go ahead to Facebook and do this again. My um, my stream yard was not working to do you guys both at the same time, which is fine. Because then I get to spend time with you. But I need to go do it on Facebook now too. And, um, and then I'm going to put that video out. If you guys haven't caught my last video where I did some bleaching on... Um, on wood that video is getting like zero attention so if you have a minute to head over there to watch that even hit that share button for me that would help um because it really does suck to work super duper hard on a video and have like almost no views it it, it does doesn't feel good so if you have a minute i hate to be a baker but i'm gonna bake um because i need it um just help just views i don't care if you really watch it you could just put it down put the phone down let it play I don't know. Um, 
has it, Maggie? Yeah, I don't know what happened. I mean, I pay to have both of them hooked up and now it's telling me that I don't pay and I'm like, that's funny because you bill me every month for it and wanted me to like pay again and I'm not paying again. So anyways, okay, thank you guys. And um, yeah, if you have time to watch that oak um, bleaching, bleaching wood, I, I really think that's cool and I would like to do it again, maybe not on golden oak, but <laughs> definitely, definitely again. And um, Holly says, hi. Man, she's so black you can't even see her. Hey, she says, hi. Hey, Miss Mel. Thank you, Buck here in just a second. And Windmill Vintage Designs. Okay.